Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Pinoy Galaan. Um, today I have decided to review the camera lens of my Nikon D5300. So this camera is very good for those people who are just like me, a beginner, and would like to capture a very nice video. So this camera I have three more lenses, but yeah, today I will be using this lens, which is the 1855mm kit lens, and I will be using the other for the next um, video that I will make. So guys, um, stay tuned and let's see. You know, um, always bear in mind that if there is enough light, you will have a nice photo or video. Sufficient light means nice photo or great photo. So from this time, you will see that I'm not completely focused because I set up my camera manually with the perspective distance between my face and the camera. So you will see sometimes I become blurred. Sometimes I am very, very clear. So when I lean back, I am less um, focus so when i lean on to the camera i am more focused so after a few minutes i will be taking a video which i use a manual setup for my camera also the lens is manually set what so this is just a random thing that i can take a good look and see how is the framing we can have a nice aperture as well if I zoom in that much you'll have this kind of so this So this setting is manual, so even it's manual, I mean it manual is um, not really um, friendly setting because you have to do all the settings by yourself compare if you will use um, automatic. The camera itself will provide you the settings that you want. So this is it. So, yeah, these are my things. So, this is the other lens. And the aperture of this camera is a little bit okay. So, now since the camera is indoor, we need, I have to change the setting actually for the ISO because it's a little bit dark. But the clarity of the photo is still good the clarity of the photo is still good and we're still taking a very nice video it's still very nice video so I have to change my ISO into more high high ISO so here, but if I take from this side, we have, I believe, enough light. It's a little bit cinematic because of the, because of our setting. But of course it's dark. So I have to change a little bit more of aperture and also okay guys so it's a little bit dark
if I come back here the light will be sufficient here if I come back in this place the light will be sufficient because I'm just in front of the window but still So I will change my setting now into A mode. A mode. So this is A mode where the whole thing is bright. The whole thing is bright. So here if I zoom enough I can have a very nice aperture as well. As you see guys so here actually I have to choose a, gr a grid line so my IS is still the same and the shutter is a bit lower than what I choose before when I'm taking a manual mode so this is it this is the whole thing see can have a nice aperture also look at this the color is just perfect I will go back to other and show how it's gonna be so here I can't get enough for sure because the background is too light but if I turn in this side it's beautiful here maybe I can use the manual lens if I use the manual lens yeah it's now clear can have a nice aperture also look at this when the object is just perfect here and try to find a nice focal setting yeah did you see the aperture was perfect here the aperture was really good so the kit lens which is 1855 mm from Nikon was obviously beautiful so you can just have and choose which setting you like for those person who are just like me very new in this kind of thing you better to use automatic so you don't need to worry about the setting at all okay so let's go back to this see as you remember before this place was very dark very very dark because I use manual mode so when I use the manual mode I set up the camera like um, dramatic here look at this very clear very much clear okay look at this very clear compared to the previous one very clear very clear so very clear
So even if I stand from this side, I can have enough light because the camera itself provided the the settings that I need. See, if I did this much of setting, still I can have a nice video of my subject. Look at this. Very clear. Very clear. Look at this. So this is automatic mode. An auto mode. Look at this. This is an auto mode. It's the the object is against the light, but the object is still in good um, pixels or clear. Okay, guys. So now we are outside where we have a sufficient light, although it's not direct sunlight. As you see, um, it was very nice. You know, when there's a light, you will have always a nice photo or video. So it is very important. So this is my little garden. So the photo is still good. Look at this. Look how is it. The depth of aperture is just beautiful. So... Oh. Now we are on A mode. It's beautiful, isn't it? So here. So if I go this side. So this is how it look. One minute. So here we are. So I have to adjust my lens. So this one, the lens I'm using a manual. I'm adjusting it manually because my lens doesn't have option of automatic. So it will be like like this. When I zoom in, yeah, zoom in, the lens is still provide you the previous setting, but I have to adjust because now I'm searching for the object which I want. So like this, like this, I have to adjust the lens. So here. So I have to adjust the lens manually. Okay. Now the lens is manually adjusted. As you see, it's blur. And I have to go through with it and have it perfectly. I can't just, yeah. Okay. So guys, so this is not really bad camera at all. Look at this. So beautiful, so perfect. So even this light adjusted itself by the camera. If I use um, M mode, the setting will be the the video from the same place will be very different. It will be more yellowish because I set up the manual mode for fluorescent light. Look at this. Very clear. 
it's higher resolution look at this and I even wanted to zoom it this much look at this it's perfect it's awesome you know look at this look at this it's beautiful so look at these fishes in the wall look at the color how is the color the color is completely high resolution look at those those ones so this one You can have a nice video, really nice. I completely uh, recommend this. This is now completely outdoors, and I taking a video of the leaves of the pine trees. So I want to have a, and a good aperture but I can't just have the focus that I need because I am using a wide one. So look at this video. Even the lens itself will provide you a clear one. You just need to do a manual setting for the lens. So here I'm using the S mode which is currently I'm I'm inside the house. So um S mode is completely you need to do the setting as well. And a bit similarly with the manual mode. See the auto mode. Auto mode is just perfect. So for the beginners like me, it's very much um, helpful for us if you use the auto mode. So this is the auto mode. You don't need to put so much effort about the video that you wanted. Um, but it's less satisfying for my side. But as a beginner, it's important, you know. So this is P mode. So um, automatic mode, automatic mode, and I'm indoor. And see how is it? Look at the color of this. See the color? Look at that. I will be taking this one here like this like this so I will change my perspective into this look at this oh isn't it beautiful very clear So change perspective again and change to here so this side look at this I'll normally you can say how was the video taking from this camera I just really need to go through with the setting and also 
the camera is great. That's all for now. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoy watching the watching my video. And uh, of course, for the newbie like me, it is very helpful to use auto mode. So don't forget, if you are just like me, who are newbie in this kind of field, you can use auto mode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe Pinoy Galaan. Until next time.